So can intermittent fasting support natural acne healing? I'll give you my full opinion on that. It's kind of probably going to be counterintuitive to what you think. Plus, share my favorite tool for getting really clear on the root cause of your breakouts. So stay until the end for that. Hi there, my name is Jill Therese, and after 15 years of acne struggles, I finally cleared my acne naturally, and I created my acne clearing program, The Clear Code, to help you do the same. Seven years and thousands of clients later, I've made it my life's work to get you clear skin without pills, creams, and or crazy hormones. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video. So if you're new to intermittent fasting, here's the quick and dirty on it. It basically just means that you don't eat for 12, 16, 24, 36, 72 hours. It basically just means you fast intermittently. I get this question a lot in my program, The Clear Code. Hi, Soha and Antonella. I'm gonna leave their little comment somewhere. So I wanted to answer it because I think it's probably your question too. I've done a lot of research on fasting because it's really all the rage. And what I've found has been really interesting. I have a family history of type two diabetes on both sides parental as well. So close, close, close proximity to myself. And I'm really obsessed with all things blood sugar management in general. And I knew that intermittent fasting would impact your blood sugar. So that made me even more interested in it. So how does this relate back to your acne? Blood sugar levels are very deeply linked to acne development. I have so many videos on this. I talk about insulin resistance and acne and a low glycemic diet. I'll leave them via the links below. But really what happens is a diet high in sugar leads to higher levels of insulin in your body, which leads to higher levels of insulin growth factor one, which is associated with the development of acne. Generally speaking, when you fast, you're lowering blood sugar levels for an extended period of time, which will then lower insulin levels. Basically, if you don't know this, I love this stuff. So I talk about it all the time, but it's always good to know. Insulin regulates blood sugar levels within your body. So you're, you eat food, your blood sugar rises, and then your body releases insulin to make sure your blood sugar doesn't rise too much. And so if you're fasting for an extended period of time, your blood sugar is going to get lower over time. And that means less insulin is released. Question for you, how long do you often go in between meals? Leave me your hourly estimate below because I want to know. So do I recommend intermittent fasting for you and your acne? Yes and no. Short term, no. Long term, potentially, slash yes. Here's why. If you are dealing right now with cystic acne along your jawline, you have a crazy sweet tooth, your acne comes and goes throughout the month, especially if you're a woman, so you have acne mid-cycle or pre-period, and you know you eat a diet high in artificial sugars, I already know that you have some dysglycemia and or blood sugar management stuff going on. And that is not helping your skin, number one. But number two, if you try to correct that really dramatically and drastically by going on long periods of fasting, so without food, it's just, it's, it's a lot for your body to take. It's very extreme. I mean, someone could argue for that technique, but in my experience with people dealing with acne and also what's sustainable, that's not my first go-to. Here's why. I recently started intermittent fasting for me because I've done a lot of research and I've watched quite a few documentaries and done a lot of science looking at things. And I think there are so many benefits to intermittent fasting, but when I first started, having a family history of blood sugar management issues, I went way too strong in the beginning. And I, per usual, it's a Jill, that's a Jill character trait. I just go 150 miles an hour at whatever I'm doing. But I was super shaky, a little like jittery. I could tell that I was having significantly low levels of blood sugar and my body was pissed. And so then when that happens, you're not gonna sustain whatever you're doing. You're just gonna stop it immediately because you're, it's too hard. And so for me, what I did was I was fasting. I basically was fasting for six hours. It's kind of hard to explain and long to explain. It's not pertinent for your acne issues. But in between the fasts, I would have a little bit of like um, yogurt and almonds. I started to taper down my blood sugar stuff throughout a weekly, two to three week period. And that helped me really get into it and allow my body to adjust. If you're dealing with acne right now and you have a sweet tooth, you eat a lot of sweets. I can already guarantee that you're having blood sugar management issues. So then to kind of like fast, it's just too dramatic. So I wouldn't recommend that to start. A general rule of thumb is that you want to avoid extremes when you're healing your acne naturally. You want to create 
lifestyle habits that support clear skin that you can actually sustain. And you cannot sustain crazy low levels of blood sugar, feeling dizzy, jittery, etc. And it's, it's not going to serve you. I would recommend starting with, well, number one, be eating a low glycemic diet for like a month. And then once you start to see some really positive effects from that, you can begin to experiment with shorter fasts. So like a 12 hour fast and then move to a 14 hour fast in a few weeks or even a month and then move to a 16 hour fast a few weeks or a month later. Do not, if you already know you have a diet high in sugar, don't go straight to fasting for 18 hours a day. You'll just, it, it'll work for like a day and you'll, it'll, you'll fail because that's what we do as humans <laughs> and it won't work. That being said, if you have healed your acne naturally, or if your your skin is clear and you're just interested in fasting from a health perspective, I kind of recommend the same thing I just said, but applying it, that you can apply, apply the principles a little bit more liberally. So begin with a 12 hour or a 14 hour or a 16 hour fast, but just be really mindful of how you're feeling. The reason, one of the biggest things that draws me to fasting is gonna, I'm gonna share a science quote about it. Basically, they talk about how this process called autophagy is upregulated when we fast. And they say nutritional restriction is a promising protocol to modulate autophagy and enhance the eff efficacy of anti-cancer therapies while protecting normal cells. Autophagy, very simply, and I'm saying that wrong, autophagy, seems so terrible, is basically the way our body gets rid of cellular waste. And it's a pro process that's upregulated when we fast. So basically bad things leave your body faster when you are fasting. There's a ton of science on it and you probably don't want it. You just want to know if it will impact your skin and or if you should or shouldn't approach intermittent fasting for your acne. And I'll leave those sciencey documents and studies below. But my answer to you is if you're wondering if you should begin intermittent fasting for your acne is number one, if you are just starting out on your natural acne healing journey, no. But number two, if your skin is clear and or you've been following a low glycemic diet with great success for months, like three months, you could definitely explore it. If you have any type of diabetes, blood sugar management issues, any of those things, talk to your doctor immediately. I'm not a doctor. Do not approach any type of long-term fasting or fasting with diabetes without consulting your doctor first. Ever. Ever. Okay. Okay. So that being said, I really want to help you get a little bit more clarity because I know you're here because you were looking for clarity about your acne and I would love to support you on that. So here's how you can get more clarity on your root acne triggers. I have a 30 second, 10 question quiz that you can download via the link below and it'll give you three action steps, three recipes you can start to eat and use to clear your acne naturally from the inside out based on your root acne triggers. Also, if you want to join a safe, private, and empathetic community of people dealing with the same exact things as you are, please make sure you join us in our private Facebook group where you can meet other people struggling with skin stuff as well. I also have an acne clearing program called The Clear Code that you can apply, apply to below as well, and I would love to support you there. If you like this video, please type yes below so that I can support you and say hi. And also, if you have a friend, a family member, a lover, a friend, a person in your life, who knows that there's a deeper root issue with their acne and you really and they really want help, please send them this video. I would love to be the spark that kind of inspires them down a rabbit hole of natural acne healing because it is there for you and it is possible, okay? Make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit the bell to be notified when I post a new one, and I will see you next time.